Bats. Are you thinking of those creatures that turn back into vampires or witches at daytime? Or are you thinking about Batman working in the dark in his bat cave? Bats have a bad reputation for being creepy and evil and whatnot, always recalling memories of vampires and haunted houses and other spooky things. But for the most part, these creatures are misunderstood. But come on, aren't these creatures strange? It's so weird just to think there is an animal that hangs upside down to do a thing that needs the most comfort, sleep. Well sure, there are other animals that hang upside down like monkeys, but monkeys only do it when they're monkeying around. Although it is true monkeys monkey around almost every second of their lives. You could say sloths sleep upside down, but it's more like they hang from a branch from the bottom side and doze off not really hang their head down like bats. But really, bats are weird and creepy. Or maybe it's just the fact that they're really witches in bat bodies. When the rest of us are ready to go to bed, bats are getting ready to wake up. They spend all night swooping around gobbling up insects, plants and small animals. And when the sun is ready to rise, bats are ready to head home and hang upside down and have some sweet sleep. Bats are happy to sleep upside down in a variety of places. Although you might think they are cave dwellers, that's only because that's how they have been portrayed in movies. You will actually find bats hanging upside down everywhere from attics to bridges to the insides of hollow trees. So why do these animals perch upside down? For several reasons. Even though bats fly, they aren't like birds. They are the only mammals that can fly by the way. They cannot launch their bodies into the air from the ground. Their wings don't produce enough lift to take off. Maybe a running start would help. But a bat's hind legs are too small to gain enough speed for liftoff. This is why bats have no choice but to use their claws to climb to a high spot, let go and fall into flight. Say, if one day you spot a bat in the attic and come at it with a broom, that sleeping bat needs to escape quickly, and hanging upside down means that they're already in the perfect position to spread their wings, show you their tongue and fly away. But instead of getting a broom next time, maybe you would try throwing a baseball. Because vampires like baseball, right? That's why every night they turn into bats. But keep in mind that you want to get rid of them some way or the other, because although they might be beneficial in insect control, you want to stay away from bat droppings, called guano. Guano can contaminate soil with a fungus that causes histoplasmosis, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. So you don't want bats setting up a roost in your home. It doesn't take a bat encounter to get infected. This fungus grows in the soil where they had gone potty, and the fungus continues to grow, waiting for you to come along and clean out the barn or the attic or the bat cave under your house. Yes, we all know about that. You're not a secret anymore. So if you see bat droppings, be careful before you go grab that broom to clean that up. You might want to call up Alfred and ask how he cleans up Batman's cave every day. That place always looks so super clean and tidy. Hanging upside down is also a way for bats to hide from predators and danger. Since most of the animals that pose a threat to bats, like other birds, and of course me and you, are awake, bats need a safe place to rest when it's time to get some sleep. You might suppose bats would have competition from other birds or flying creatures, but bats choose the perfect place to have a safe snooze in areas where birds aren't likely to build a nest. By hanging out where few animals would think to look or even reach, bats can sleep tight and have no nightmares except maybe about us. We can probably find and capture them anywhere. Bats probably hate us in that case. Probably all animals, except for dogs, hate us. No, actually, beware. Even if your dog shows all that affection to you now, what do you think it would do if one day it found you dead in your bed? Now when I think about it, if we didn't cage some of them up, they'd all come to eat us. Now imagine a backwards world where the animals would cage some of us up to intimidate the rest of us. Scary. 
Okay, okay, let's go back to our normal world where bats sleep upside down to stay safe from us. That's better. Do you remember hanging upside down from the monkey bars when you were a kid? Or just hanging upside down for the fun of it from anywhere? It only takes a few minutes until the blood rushes to your head and you have to hurry to get right side up again. Could you spend the entire night that way? And also having to worry that you might let go once you fall asleep? That would be a bat's life. Actually, not really. Luckily, it's not painful for bats. They have developed a special adaptation that makes sleeping upside down as easy and effortless as sleeping on a bed is for us. If you clench your fist around that bar, your body uses muscles and tendons in your fingers, arms, wrists, and hands. As the muscles in your arms contract, they pull on tendons, closing your fingers around the bar. Bat talons work in a similar way. They simply find a surface to grasp, fly into position, and let their bodies relax. Human tendons are connected to muscle, but bat tendons are connected directly to their upper body. So when bats relax, the weight of their upper bodies pulls down on the tendons connected to the talons and they clench closed. The weight of the bats keep the talons closed, and the talon joint locks them into position. This system is so effective that even if bats die while sleeping, they will continue to hang upside down until something or you go get them down. Remember, the best way to hold a bat is by the handle. Creepy, but cool at the same time. Now, it may only be a joke that vampires turn into bats at night, or is it? Maybe they just use mouthwash to get rid of that bat breath and you won't even know you're sitting next to Edward next morning at school. But what is a fact is that there is a bat called the vampire bat that drinks blood to survive. Now bats do get a bad reputation for being scary, but most of them eat fruit and insects and only three species of them all drink blood and suddenly they get associated with Dracula. Like the legendary monsters that freak us out, these small mammals drink blood of other animals like cows, pigs, horses, and birds. But it would be wrong if I said they suck blood like a typical vampire would. Vampire bats make a small cut with their teeth and lap up the flowing blood with their tongues. Fortunately, it is uncommon, but beware, they do occasionally bite humans for blood also. Are bats dangerous? No, but they can be. Bat bites themselves aren't harmful, and neither is the actual blood drinking of the vampire bats. But it becomes harmful when you encounter infected bats that can spread rabies. And bites from infected vampire bats are known to hurt farmers' livestock. When vampire bats drink the blood of their blood donors, the animals actually do not feel a thing, and this can go unnoticed for 30 minutes straight. So you could be sleeping in your tent or decide to watch the stars and doze off, and next thing you know, you're an immortal vampire. Now, don't freak out. Vampire bats can actually be quite tame, and you would probably only spot one in abandoned buildings across Mexico, Central and South America. And in fact, vampire bats are probably more friendlier than you are. Just a little bit of blood would satisfy these bats, but no, you don't want to give it to them. The female vampire bats actually do something pretty sweet that deserves them an awe, and also maybe a ew. When one of the bats go hungry, they actually vomit out some blood in the other one's mouth. Now come on, how many of you are going awe and how many of you are going ew? These bats also keep track of who has helped them in the past and try to patch up with those who they were selfish with. Well, even if you don't think vampire bats are nice and cute. At least now you believe me when I say that there's a better reason to stay out of abandoned buildings. Not the vampires and the ghosts. Actual living vampire bats that may be infected with rabies are hanging around, ready to drain your body of blood. <laughs>